Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your love reading for May 17th. This will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, okay? If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and please tell your other Virgo friends that we have a Virgo channel. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look and see what the love messages are for May 17th, I believe May 17th. Wait, this might be the 18th. Now I'm confused on my days. Please forgive me. <laughs> Let's just call it a timeless reading, but I will put the correct day in the caption. Okay, so please forgive me because I think I uploaded um, the 17th already, um, but now I cannot remember. But if I didn't, you'll know in the caption what day this is for. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Let's take a look here, see what your love messages are. I believe it is for the 17th. Let's see. Okay. All right, Virgo, you have the judgment card is here. The five of wands. Oh boy. There's communication coming in here for you, Virgo. Wow. Someone's ready to commit after surrendering, after defeat. Truth is coming in. Somebody wants to make some kind of change. There's reconciliation happening here. Wow. Could be pregnancy, birth. I'll pull some clarifying cards. Somebody's fighting for this connection, Virgo. All right. So we do have, let's see, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, and I am picking up some Aries energy. Um, but let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on here, Virgo, this person. I know some of you are like, I don't want <laughs> to reconcile. But listen, um, on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, I do have a Virgo singles reading that will be in my playlist. So you can always check that out as well. But I just give whatever messages are coming up here. All right, let's take a look at judgment. So there's some truth coming out. Somebody's having a wake-up call. Clarity, a final decision. Um, coming clean. Um, somebody might be living in England. All right, let's see. Healing energy. Three of Wands. Wow. Waiting for the right time. <laughs> Making some plans. No more setbacks. Okay. Um, no more delays going on here. Somebody's got some insight. Um, and some foresight about what they want, what they need to do. Okay. This could be a long distance connection or relationship. Um, I feel like this person is in a position here of waiting to either hear from you or waiting for an opportunity to come clean, okay, about some problems and drama. The Five of Wands always represents some um, a situation of uncertainty, Never, not really knowing. There's a lot of, I almost feel like, I want to say competition, but there could be like some game playing or a, a struggle, okay? Um, Let's get a clarifying card here for the five of ones. Okay, yeah. Remorse and regret and a feeling of loss. That's a struggle. I feel like somebody, whoever this person is or your person or whomever it is, this person is coming in to communicate. Um, this is my crush card. Someone is smitten with you, Virgo. This could be somebody new coming in, but... I do feel like this is a reconciliation situation because of judgment. There's some kind of um, clarity of purpose. Um, the struggle has left this person feeling really lost and sad um, in a position of grief. Coming in to communicate with you. The Eight of Cups is here. They don't want to be separated from you anymore, Virgo. Okay, if you guys are in separation or 
it, it's more like a temporary separation. This person is on some kind of a journey. They want to come see you've got that ninth cup. And I feel like there's there would be like a text message or some type of message coming in for you um, where this person may tell you that they want to come see you or they're coming towards you or they, um, they're going after that ninth cup, which that one cup in the air represents that ace of cups, like a new baby or a, like a new initiation of love, proposal or a marriage. Um, it's like this idea, these thoughts running through this person's head and communicating this with you. You know, hey, do you want to get married? Or hey, do you want to get into a relationship? Or hey, do you want to try for a child? You know, like a very creative idea. Okay, this person has been on some kind of a journey. They've been, you know, separated from you or not communicating with you. And here it comes, right? The two of pentacles, this is an element of like someone who is finally able to commit. Okay, no longer wanting this struggle, no longer being in this position where they feel overwhelmed about love. The, the, the idea of commitment overwhelmed this person. Okay, they want to find a way to balance things. You know, I was saying in one of my readings, this is the juggler. The energy that goes in to committing to keeping these balls up in the air it's, it's total and extreme focus and being completely present of mind. And this person is coming in. I feel like they're, they're, they're coming in for that. They're just waiting for the right time. They have the nine of wands here. Okay. This person is coming in quite persistent about this. The center of the reading is the 10 of swords. This is total surrender. They give up whatever they were trying to avoid, um, you know, being with you. I feel like they're hitting rock bottom about this. Like they, they're just defeated. There's an energy of feeling defeated. They don't want to have an ending. And it feels like it's ending and, and they don't want it to end. And I, I feel like they're coming to terms with that, like a total wake up call about who you are and how you mean to them, what you mean to them. Let me see here. There's sadness with this person. They're sad because of the struggle or that they've created some kind of problem or they've created drama. Ten of Swords, please. Okay, Three of Pentacles, it's marriage, working together. The moon card is here, Cancer energy, coming up and out of this, revealing, beginning to reveal this person truly does want to have some kind of like, I know, I want to, <laughs> so the word is collaboration, right? But it's like teamwork, working together. They've been trying to do this on their own and just live a life by themselves, but coming to terms with the fact that, it, you know, their fear is going to keep them lonely for the rest of their lives. So justice is here, karma, balancing things out, coming in with the truth, seeking a win-win solution. Okay. Um, let me see here. This could even be legal marriage, just nine of cups. Yeah. You're a wish come true for them. And I feel like you're going to get communication from this person about that, that you are a wish come true for them. Remember I said eight of cups, seeking that ninth cup? Here it is, right? Coming in, going after that ace of cups and presenting it to you, giving it to you, communicating with you. Ready to make a change, this lifestyle change. It's not just about for some of you um, having a child or birth or anything like that. I mean, or, you know, this is abundance, fertility good parenting as well. This person's ready to make that change and have that. And for others, it's just they view you as this empress, not a queen, an empress. The empress has everything. She's beautiful. She's creative. She's abundant. She's so attractive. She's patient and loving and nurturing. She, the empress represents all of the queens. All right. So if we have, would just to go down the line, 
again she's very healing and has very supportive energy very resourceful and domesticated in many ways she's self-sufficient she's completely honest she can be feisty she's confident and self-assured and that's how this person is viewing you and with that knight of swords energy coming in fierce assertive um, this person coming in with like a like excitement, fast talking, uh, talking about a lifestyle change. Yes, 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 yes. This is completely out of character for them, I feel, because they're coming from a place of grief and sadness that they may have kept to themselves. Let's get a clarifying card here. Ah, the world. Ready to, to write the new pages of this book to start again, a new chapter happening here. Out with the old and with the new. This person's ready for new with you Taurus Aquarius Leo Scorpio this person's ready to begin again you know each in the world card it's got four pillars which is a sign of stability okay you might be um, this person might be coming in coming from another different part of the world or a different place in the world or they're either from there or they're traveling um, or it could be communication over the internet. Let's take a look at the Empress here. Okay, yep, total wake-up call about who you are. They've been stuck for a long time, and, and, and the only person that they have been able to think about or imagine has been you, enlightened about who you are and what you mean to them. No one compares to you, Virgo. No one. And here they are with the Seven of Wands. Protective. Wanting to fight for this relationship. Fight for this connection. Standing up. Leveling up. Taking the high ground here. Fighting. It's not just putting in effort. It's just not wanting to give up. Oh, this person is just coming in with very strong boundaries and plans. No more stalling, no more quitting, no more running away. Okay. Oh, five of wands. Not only defensive energy, but coming in with this <laughs> resolving the problems. Okay. Uh, overcoming the obstacles. Five of wands again. Fighting through the struggle. Okay, and, and being like the victor in the struggle, fighting those dragons. <laughs> you know, fighting for harmony and success and an and ability, finding a way to resolve whatever problems you guys have had in the past and opening up, I'm telling you. This person may be communicating that they want you to come where they are, move in with them, uh, or vice versa. Spend time together, be together. Let's see what your angel answers are here. Okay, I know you might have some questions, but ask a question. Ask a question right now while I'm shuffling. What is it that you truly want to know? Okay, success. Will this happen? Will this work? Will you be successful? Yes, you will. There is success here. That's what I was saying. It's like a victor. It's the six of wands energy, being victorious, having this thing work out. This person, it was just up to them to come to terms with things. There was nothing you could do. You've done everything you could do. Okay, ask your angels. Speak to your angels, Virgo. Ask for guidance. If this is where they want you to be, if this is what this person, if they're coming in with true intentions, because it feels like it. It feels like a waking up, an awakening. Okay? There's a need to compromise here, though. Okay? There will be a need to compromise, and I'm not sure why. That could be because you're at a distance to one another. It could be because there are obstacles, 
I see this person wanting to overcome those problems and those obstacles or whatever they might be. They want to win, to be the winner of your heart. They want to win your heart. But there's going to be a need to compromise and that is the justice card. That is coming into harmony and balance with one another. But speaking your truth to each other, not holding back and not just leaving it be. Speaking your truth. What you want? What do you want, Virgo? And, and asking them the same question. What do they want? I'm going to pull a charm. Okay. So we have the cherry blossom. So somebody's name might be Cherry. Or that you like cherries is Cherry Blossoms. You might see them right now floating around. <laughs> hanging on the trees. I don't know if the wind is still blowing them off the tree. Some of them may be gone. Maybe you have a cherry blossom tattoo or Japanese uh, blossoms somewhere, or you just really admire them. They're just very beautiful or something you may have noticed recently or saw them somewhere. You could be looking at an art print that has them. Let's get one more. Okay, wow, you've got the Hamra. The hand of protection. Some of you might be getting a henna tattoo or you just got one or you're thinking of getting one. That is a, a sign of marriage. The henna, ta henna tattoo could be like an Indian, um, like a marriage of some sort. I'm hearing Pakistani. I'm hearing India. Somewhere in the Middle East. I'm picking up the Middle East somewhere. One more charm. I just want to get one more. Oh, Chanel number five, but it's black. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lustry, musky, seductive energy as, as the stimulating the senses or somebody you might like Chanel number five, or maybe you wear it. Number five, so five, rep, five is a number of change, freedom and travel. Okay. So something here is um, coming in alignment with the five okay we have an anchor some of you might be going on a cruise or there's a ship or a boat okay but it's also anchoring you know getting anchored in this relationship in this connection this is a past thing coming back okay and i know some of you might not want to have the past back and that's okay um you know this may not be the reading for you but some of you may and so let those people have that reading but i feel like um there's an anchoring that's going to be happening here where you guys finally it feels like planting the roots you know it's like grounding here all stop full stop everything is stopping now and like it's like coming together and like holding tightly and anchoring and and now like coming together and talking and figuring it out and working things through and it's beautiful energy virgo it's so beautiful and i feel so hopeful for you if this is something that you want or you've been waiting for with this person so i'm going to leave your reading there i hope that you enjoy this please make sure to hit subscribe and hit the like button if you don't mind make sure you hit the notification bell too and enable that in your phone so you'll know when i upload i usually upload every day 9 a.m eastern standard time but you may wake up one morning and find it here earlier all right virgo take care love you bye